serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. All right, welcome back. Nine strangers abandoned in Alaska's wilderness right before winter. That just does not sound fun. How do they survive with just the clothes and gear on their backs? Local fitness trainer Kimberly Wise from Chula Vista is here to tell us about her experience. She did it. Discovery Channel's new series, Out of the Wild, The Alaska Experiment. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning. You're so, I'm, I'm, I have to say this because I'm sure people at home are thinking that you don't look like a, a type of lady that would just be dropped in the middle of Alaska. I know, I know. I think that's kind of why they picked me. They didn't think I would last. You know, us San Diegans are tough. But, so how did you get involved in this? Honestly, I was on Craigslist and I saw a posting and um, that's really how I got involved. Two weeks later I was sitting in front of the producers um, in LA and that's when I was chosen. So the show got nine of you guys together mm -hmm. and what do they do? Um, all of us went to survival training for three days out in Anchorage, Alaska <laughs> with these guys Learn to Return group and they basically taught us to live off the land and um, we tried to apply those skills when we were in Alaska for 30 some odd days. It was amazing. So living off the land, obviously you can't take food with you. Um, can't take food with you, Shelly. Sorry. I don't know if you would survive. No, I'm are you kidding me? <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. Okay, so this is, was that the, we were just looking at the area. So you had to hunt. We had to hunt. And you know, the funniest part is there were caribou all around us and things like that, but we couldn't eat that stuff. <gasps> we couldn't eat that because they're protect, protected by um, Alaskan hunting guides and things like That's that. That's hunting. That is me hunting. Have you ever, did you ever hunt before? I have, I, well, I've been with my dad. I grew oh, up so you, around it, but I never really, you know, shot the gun and things like that. You know, so. I just want it made for me. Okay. So, <laughs> don't you, we all, I don't just, we seriously. all. Seriously. Um, so then you also had to learn how to, to, to make weapons, because they literally gave you nothing. You weren't allowed to take anything with you? Right. Well, we had an axe. We had some stuff like that. I mean, chop wood, okay. things like that. Um, we had a bird gun and we had a bear gun, and that was basically all we had to survive. There's me sharpening an axe and oh trying to chop up some firewood. It's a little difficult, a little more difficult than you would think. So um, we'll show Carolyn and I here. We uh, like to use a little teamwork to chop firewood. You gotta use, put your weight into it, you yeah, know? Yeah, more power to you, young lady. Yeah. Okay, uh, also, yeah. you <laughs> just jump on it. Chula Vista style. <laughs> That's yes. the way to do it. <laughs> So, fishing, you had to fish. Yeah, right? we had to fish, and you know what? Alaskan fishing is supposed to be so plentiful and great, and there were there were no fish until, the, you know, toward um, the end where the salmon were spawning, and they were pretty much decaying in the water, and at that point, we tried to get as many as we could because it's 30 pounds of fish right there. Okay, so fish I could do. I'm sure all of us could do because mm -hmm. we love fish. But, but could you do <laughs> decaying spawned salmon? Is, no. is that no. the question? And I could not also do gopher. <laughs> do you have to eat gopher? I, you know, um, the first five days we hadn't ate at all and we ate a mouse. So, oh, no, so no, I, mean, no. I mean, that's that's even worse than a, than a gopher. It looks like oatmeal. Yeah. Um, well, it tasted pretty good when you had an eight for five days, I though. I can't imagine. I'm not going to lie. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so everybody at home can, can watch this. It's on the Discovery Channel. It mm -hmm. airs tonight. It airs tonight. I'm excited. Knowing you should be too. then what you knew now, everybody else, like, can you take anything with you if you're, like, deserted anywhere? Now that you were in that situation, what would you take? Um, if I could have taken stuff then, I would have yeah. taken plenty of things. But matches? Matches. Yes, because all we had was uh, a piece of flint and a knife, and that's how we... It, it was tough. I mean... Starting fire, a little more difficult than it Rock seems. on, sister. Rock, Rock on. on. I'm so Alrighty, welcome back. I'm kind of conflicted about this sex segment because it's going to bust out every excuse that I have or that you would have about going to the gym. So there's no reason why you can't get a workout in your daily routine. Personal trainer Kimberly Wise joins us with some exercise you can do anytime, anywhere, no excuses. Good morning, Kimberly. Exactly. Good morning, Shelly. How are you today? I'm doing great. Watching this, I'm doing a little bit better. Yeah, today we have Monica and Greg here um, to show that fitness is all about being creative and having fun you can get an amazing workout with just your own body weight. So we have Monica and Greg here today, and they're using each other's momentum and resistance right here to work on their abs. So when you're working out, you always want to start with abs to warm up your core, oh, really? your lower back. I didn't know that. That's really important in fitness. Um, so we always start with abs because your abs are really involved in every single right. thing that you do. So you just want to make sure that your base, your base is ready to go. So. Partner abs, this is great. 
And our next exercise, we're going to hop on up. We're going to do partner body squats. For coming Thank in you for having me, Shelly. Of course. We appreciate it. Thanks, Monica and Greg. <laughs> okay, Chrissy, I think after, I, I'd like to practice the wheelbarrow with you. <laughs> the wheelbarrow race. It'll yeah. be like you're five years old again. Yeah. You